How do I add a choice parameter in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.2. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that contains the final Jenkins file that we're going to be creating. And let's go ahead and click on New Item, and let's create a new pipeline job. Let's call it Choices, and we'll click on Pipeline and click OK. Now, if you've never created a parameter before, we have a couple of options. One thing we could do is we could just create a parameter within the job, but we don't want to do that. We want to create our parameters within our Jenkins files. So how do we do that? Well, let's click on Pipeline Syntax. We'll get a new screen here, and let's click on Declarative Directive Generator. And under the dropdown, let's change this to Parameters. And for this case, what we want to do is select Choice. And let's take a look at each of these options. We're going to give it a name. So for the very first one, we're going to give it a name of Choice. Now for our choices, we have to put in a choice. Let's click on the Help. We have the potential choices, one per line. So in this case, let's type one, two, and three. And then for our description, let's go ahead and type in uh, pick something. Okay. And then let's click on generate declarative directive. And here is the parameter section that we're going to add into our Jenkins file. So we'll copy that. Let's go back over to our pipeline job. We're going to try a sample pipeline. We'll just say hello world. And in between the agent any and stages, let's go ahead and paste in our parameters block that we just generated. And we'll clean it up here just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and change our echo hello world to an echo choice using an sh step. And we're going to say dollar sign brace params dot choice, where choice is the same as the name of our parameter. So let's go ahead and click on save. Now, because we have defined our parameter within our Jenkins file, when we run this job the very first time, it's going to set up the parameter. You'll notice right now it says build now. Let's go ahead and click on that once. So as the job runs, what's going to happen is it's going to parse the Jenkins file, create that parameter within the job, and then run the rest of the job. And what we see here is that choice one is echoed out, but why one? Well, if we go back over to our syntax generator, the value on the first line will be the default. So since one was our first line, that's what rendered here. Let's go back into the job. Now, instead of it saying build now, we now see build with parameters. So if we go into the job this time, what we can do is we can choose one of our three options. Let's pick three. We'll go ahead and click on build. And if we take a look at the output of two, once it starts up, what we're going to see is the choice that we selected, which was number three, is now echoed out choice three. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.